So here we are going to solve an example on uh, summing uh, 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 three periodic signals. The first periodic signal is cosine 3.5t, the second one is sine 2t, and the third one is 2 cosine 7 over 6t. Please remember something very important. Something very important regarding the sine and cosine. And you have to keep it in mind uh, as long as you are an electrical engineer. If I give you a sine or cosine, any sine or cosine function, whatever inside the sine or cosine, it's an angle. And this angle also can be written as omega t. Okay? So whatever multiplied by t, this is omega, the angular, the angular frequency, radian per second. Okay? When you multiply by t, it will give you radian, the angle. So whatever is multiplied by the t, this is the angular frequency. So we have here the first angular frequency omega 1 is 3.5, the second angular frequency omega 2 is 2, and the third angular frequency is 7 over 6. Five. We need to calculate the period in order to know uh, if the summation of these three signals it is periodic or not, and this is the question here, uh, whether the summation is periodic or not, we need to calculate the period according to these steps, right? So the period, it is related to the angular frequency as T1 is 2 pi over omega 1, which is 2 pi over 3.5. T2 is 2 pi over omega 2, so 2 pi over 2. T3 is 2 pi over 7 over 6. Five. We need now to calculate the ratio between T1 and T2. The ratio between T1 and T2 would be 2 pi over 3.5 divided by 2 pi over 2. We give you 2 over 3.5. Is that ratio of integers? No, it is not ratio of integers, but we can write it as a ratio of integers. Although it is not ratio of integers here, but if you multiply by 2 up and down, and you can convert it to a ratio of integers, so it can be 4 over 7. So this is a ratio of integers. That's good news so far. What about the ratio between T1 and T3? The ratio between T1 and T3, huh? it's 2 pi over 3.5 divided over 2 pi over 7 over 6. So it will be 7 over 6 divided by 3.5, okay? Which will give you 7 over uh, 21, right? 7 multiplied by uh, 3, 7 over 21, which is 1 over 3. So again, this is ratio of integers, and we simplify the first ratio, we simplify the second ratio according to step number two. We simplify the ratios. Now, uh, the ratios are ratios of integers, which means that the summation is going to be periodic, for sure. We need now to calculate the period. In order to calculate the period, we calculate the ratios, we simplify the ratios, we need to find the least common multiplier. The least common multiplier here of the denominators the least common multipliers of the denominators the denominators are 7 and 3 these are the denominators here what is the least common multiplier? what is the least number, the smallest number? that is, that can be divided over 3 and can be divided over 7 huh? It's 21, right? So 21 is the least common multiplier. Now we can say that the period of the summation the period of the summation would be the least common multiplier multiplied by T1 so 21 multiplied by 2 pi over 3.5 Okay, which would give you which would give you 6 multiplied by 2 pi, which is 12 pi. So this is the period of the uh, summation. Okay, five. <coughs> Come on in seconds, huh? the period would be in seconds. What if we have a fourth signal? What if we have a signal number four? And we are going to add this signal to the rest. And the signal uh, number four is uh, 3 sine 5 pi t. So imagine that we have here x4 of t, which is 3 sine 4 pi t, whatever, uh, it can be any uh, 5 pi t, 
just to follow the next four, five by two. So here, here, if we have signal number four, its omega will be five pi. Omega four is going to be five pi, which means that T4, its parent, is going to be two pi over five pi, two over five. Now, if you calculate the ratio between T1 and T4, if you calculate the ratio between T1 and T4, you'll find that 2 pi over 3.5 divided over 2, 5, it will give you 10 pi over 7. Is that a ratio of integers? No, it's not a ratio of integers. Can, be, can it be converted to a ratio of integers? No, if you keep trying, you'll find that it's impossible because we have pi here and the pi here is a very long fraction that you cannot convert it to an integer. So this is not a ratio of integers. And in this case, if you add signal number four to the summation, the summation will not be periodic. Okay, that's it for this example. We'll see you in the next video.